Okay, I'm going to do a little uh, experiment here with this new injection add-on I got for my hose to see if I can get this pH to come out of this hose at 6.0. And if I figured this out right, I think I need about a teaspoon of pH down for every two gallons I put of water I put in that bucket for the solution that's going to pull in to the hose as it comes out. It's going to suck it out of there, add it to the water as it gets mixed in the hose. So as long as I can get this solution right, it should come out of the end of the hose automatically at the right pH. So I'm going to try it. First I'm going to test the water as it comes out of the hose and see where it's at, which I know it's going to be through the roof, but we'll just do it anyhow. Get the damn water to come out. So let's see where this is at. Okay, we have, I don't know if you can see that, but that is aqua blue, which is 8.5. And it's even more aqua blue than that, so it's, it's over 8.5. So let's get that cleared out a little bit. Now let's add some pH down to my solution. This is a teaspoon for every two gallons. It actually figured out to be a little higher than that, the way I figured it. But I'm going to start with that and see where it gets me. Once I got it in there, I really don't want to add water. All right, my hose is in there. Now, of course, it's going to have to run a little bit before it starts putting out that water. I don't really know how long, but just get it rocking for a little while. Still, that hose is empty, I guess. Looks like it's struggling coming out for some reason. It's coming out in spurts. Hmm, well, that's odd. It's coming out. It's not coming out like that. Oh, there we go. All right. I think that hose probably ought to be empty here. So, let's get a little sample. See where we're at. Same amount. It's definitely pulling. I can tell it's, it's yellow now instead of blue. Let's see where we're at. Looks to me like it is right at six. On the money. Wow. First time. Yeah, it's right at six. No lower. If anything, yeah, it's six. Right on the money. So anyhow, there's the experiment. I guess that works. So let's run it a little longer. See if it keeps coming out like that. Might have been just the beginning of it. So for every way I figured it out, I used about 35 gallons total to water my plants. And it would take me doing one big bucket, 35 gallon bucket would take three and a half or would take seven teaspoons. So that would be one table. No, that's not even right. It was uh it would be three and a half teaspoons total. So that's a, just that's a tablespoon and a partial. So I figured I'd start with a tablespoon. All right, that's been running for a while. It's used about only about a half inch so far of that solution. So it's about right. Let's see what it's at now. Okay. I can already see that's going to be good. It's nice and yellow. Close enough. Bright yellow. Wow. It's nice when shit works out, let me tell you. It doesn't always. Well, that's that. 
I just thought I'd do a little demonstration of this thing. It seems to be working. So as long as I have one full tablespoon for every two gallons of my solution, whatever comes out of this will be right. Well, that worked really good. There you go. Here's my testimonial. Have a good one.